Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to determine the area or the surface area of a triangular prism using two methods. Before we jump into some examples to see how the, this formula work and how these processes work, we first uh, remember that this kind of prism that we have right here is called triangular prism because the two of its faces is triangular in shape. So that's that's how the name triangular prism um, come from. Now, before we jump into some of, some of the details, we always remember that this note that I put over here, the triangular face or the triangular side, which is this side or the other side right here, will be considered as the base of the prism. Because others are going to think that, oh, the base right here is this rectangular shape that's located at the bottom because that's where it's standing from. So that's not the base. Again, the base of triangular prism will always be the triangular shape or tri triangular face. Okay, so we have here the formula for the um, um, in determining the um, surface area of a triangular prism. First, we have the parameter of the triangular base, the height of the prism, and then the area of the triangular base. So I represented it with this um, um, letters right here. Uh, before before we explain this one and where where is this in the picture? So. The first thing that we're going to do, since we say that the triangular face is the base, we will let this um, triangular prism stand. So I'm going to draw another picture if we let this stand on its base, because the base right now is the rectangle, or others are going to get um, confused, and they're going to take that as the base, and that is not the correct way. So the base is always a triangular shape. So I'm going to draw this um, uh, triangular prism in a way that it's standing on it. So if I flip it over, so this is how it's going to look like. So this is the triangular um, shape right here. So that's the triangle right there. And then this is going to go here, and this is going to go over here. And so... Um, this is going to go over here, and then this side is going to go there, and then right here, and then, so this is uh, when we let this uh, triangular prism stand. So in this case right here, the one that is located at the bottom, this part right here, is our base. So it's not the rectangle, it's not the rectangle right there. This is the base. So we can label this as B triangle. That is the area of the triangular base. And that is this one, area of the triangular base. Next is the H. The height of the prism is this side. So pretty much like this part right here. That's the height of the prism. And then the parameter of the triangular base. Parameter means the distance around the base. So the one that is colored red is the parameter. That means if we add everything, all the red lengths, that is the parameter of the triangular base. Okay, so let's have an example to better see how we use this formula over here with this problem right here. So we have a triangular base. This is different from the other triangular uh, uh, the other uh, triangular prism that we did in the other video because the uh, in the other video it's not a right triangular uh, the base is not a right triangle so in this case right here it's a right triangle it was an acute triangle the base was an acute triangle in the other video so in this problem right here uh, it says that we are supposed to determine the area using two ways so the first method that we're going to use is the unboxing i named this as unboxing because we're like uh, what we do is we will uh, take all the flaps on the side and then get the measures or get the surface area for each of the flaps and then add them all up and that is the surface area of this triangular prism but i'm going to draw a, uh, I'm going to redraw this in such a way that we're unboxing it. So this is the one that's located at the bottom. So um, let me draw that um, flap right there. So this is the first flap, which is located at the bottom. So the measures for this one would be 3 and 11. So this is 3 meters and this is 11 meters. Now we, we um, unbox this, this flap will go to this side. So I'm gonna draw that over here. So this flap will have these measures. So this is a little longer because that's four right there. 
so that's a little longer right there so this uh, the measure for this is four meters again this is this side so i open it up on the other side okay and this is again still 11 meters and i'm gonna open this side right here down so i'm gonna open this flap so this is gonna go this way it's gonna it's a little bit longer because that's five so this is a little longer right here and the measures for this would be five meters here so this is five and this one right here is still 11 so that's 11 um, meters now the flap that is left over so if uh, we open it up so it's gonna be a triangular shape which is similar to this one which is uh they will have the same length so this is how it's gonna look like and this one will have the same length so it's gonna go this way and then the other way that way as well okay so the measures for this would be this is four meters right here and then this that is three right there and this is a right triangle and that they are similar right there okay so we're now ready to find the area for each of these flaps and we add them all up this is the surface area for this triangular prism so let's start with this so the area for this would be multiply these two so that's four meters times 11 meters is 44 meters squared so that's the area for this flap the one right here would be area is equals to 3 meters times 11 meters that would be 33 meters squared this one right here we're uh, we're multiplying um 5 meters and 11 meters so the area for this is 55 meters squared and then the area for this triangle right here so since that is a triangle the area for that is half of this two perpendicular line segments so that would be three meters times four meters so three times four is 12 half of it is six so that would be six meters squared that's the area for this flap and it's the same thing right here that would also be six meters squared since these two are equal now we're ready to solve for the surface area so the surface area is the sum of all of these so i'm going to add each one of these so that would be um, 44 um, meters squared plus 33 meters squared plus 11 meters squared then i'm just uh, i'm just gonna write it down here at the bottom so that's plus six meters squared this one and then the other six right here so that's plus six meters squared now if we add all of these together 44 33 11 6 and 6 this would come out a total of 144 meters squared so this is the surface area for this um, triangular prism now let's have the other method of solving for the surface area this time around we will be using the formula so i made a boundary that's the first method up there now let's use the formula so i wrote the formula over here okay so the first thing that we are going to do is to um let this triangle stand and determine what are those uh um, parts so we if we let this stand it's gonna look like this so that's the right um, that's the right triangle right there okay and then um, that's the right triangle here and then it's gonna go this way down this way and then um, it's gonna go this way as well and then this side right here is um, is at the back so I represent this with a broken line okay so that's the right triangle right there now this is the so I, what i did was i uh, flip it over and let it stand so these are the measures for this first we have um three is gonna go here that's three meters and then the four is gonna go here so again i let it stand this way this five is the same thing it's gonna it's it's also here five and five they're they're parallel so this side right here is also five um meters and then the height of this would be the 11 because again i let it stand so this is 11 uh, meters right here so then this side right here is our base i'm gonna i'm gonna shade it this is our base of the triangular prism so i put base and then triangle because again this is a triangular prism the base is a triangular in shape 
Now, what are we going to do is we determine each of these, what is the parameter of the base. So I'm going to show the work up here. So for the parameter of the triangular base, we're adding 4 plus 3 plus 5. So that is 4 uh, meters plus 3 meters plus 5 meters. If we add all these together, this would be... 12 meters. So that's the parameter. So that's the one that we plug into the equation. So I'm going to show the uh, I'm going to show the work down here where we plug the values in already. So the surface area is equal to the parameter of the triangular base is 12 meters. And then I'm going to multiply it by the height. The height is 11 meters. So that's 11 meters right there plus two times let's solve for the um, area of the um, triangular base so this is the triangular base if we take this off of this picture right here so um it's gonna look like this so that's the the it's actually this shape this shape right here so that is a four this is a uh, uh, perpendicular to each other so that's four meters here and this is three meters right here so the area of the triangular base is actually equal to half of 4 meters times 3 meters. So that is half of 12 meters squared, which is 6 meters squared. So that's a 6 meters squared. And that's the number that I put in here because it says the, the area of the triangular base. So that is times 6 meters squared so i'm going to simplify this so that's going to be 12 times 11 is 132 meters squared plus 2 times 6 is 12 so that's going to be 12 meters squared so if we add both of these together that would come out 144 meters squared so as you can see both methods actually give the same um, answer. So if we unbox it, the answer is still 144. Now, if we use the formula, I use the I put the formula in that little uh, yellow uh, uh, post-it right there. They both get the same answer. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.